Hello everyone, my name is Olivia Wolf and I'm the program director at the Finley YMCA. Today for our activity, read the book called There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Fly. After we finish reading that book, we are going to do a craft that follows it. I am going to begin to read the book now. There was an old lady who swallowed a fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a spider. It wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. But I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a bird. How absurd to swallow a bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly, but I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a cat. Imagine that. She swallowed a cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a dog. What a hog to swallow a dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. But I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a goat. She just opened her throat and swallowed a goat. She swallowed the goat to catch the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly but I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a cow. I don't know how she swallowed a cow. She swallowed the cow to catch the goat. She swallowed the goat to catch the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. But I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a horse, so they had to operate, of course. She's much better now, I'm glad to say. She'll only eat fruit and veggies today. Can you spot all the animals? Now, to follow that book, we are going to make a craft that goes with it. And the craft is going to be a dragonfly clothespin. Before we get started making this, I want to show you everything that you're going to need. For this craft, you're going to need a clothespin, pipe cleaners, pom-poms, gems, or sequins, or something that um, is sparkly and can be glued onto the top to make him decorative. You can use super glue, um, tacky glue, or if you also have a hot glue gun, just make sure if you're using a hot glue gun to have a parent with you. And then also some googly eyes if you have them. So to make our dragonfly clothespin, the first thing I am going to do is I'm going to need to glue on my pom-pom and that makes his head. And then you can also follow going down the clothespin like this and glue on the gems or whatever you are using at home to make it decorative on the top there. Just make sure to leave a little bit of space for when you glue on his wings. So I'm first taking my glue and putting one little dot of glue up at the top. And then I'm putting on my pom-pom. Once I let that dry for a moment, then I'm going to start adding on my gems with my super glue or my if you have tacky glue at home, you're going to use that glue to add those on. Once you have your gems added on, then it is time to turn your pipe cleaner into a pair of wings. So how I did this is I bent my ends of the pipe cleaner in towards the middle. 
like so. And then I make a little X with their ends like this and I fold them into each other. So that it looks like that. And then I push them down towards the middle. Then I take the ends of the pipe cleaner and fold them into that end. And then your wings are ready. Now, I left a little bit of space right here on my clothespin, so I'm gonna add a little bit of glue there. And then I'm taking my wings and setting those right on top and holding them in place for about 30 seconds to a minute, gently blowing some air on there just so that they can dry and they'll stay put. Depending on what kind of glue you're using, you might need a little bit more or less time for it to dry. Once your wings are all dry, then the last step will be that you are going to add on your googly eyes. So I am going to do that now by putting two dots of glue right on the top of my pom-pom. Then I'll add in my eyes right here. Once you have your googly eyes all on there and they're dry, then your clothespin dragonfly is ready. Now our dragonfly clothespin is all done and we can test it out. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned to our Facebook page for more videos.